Hey guys, it's your homeboy, the one only Great Dane, finally back with Brawl Stars. So I'm going to be doing another quick season review. Well, really quick, honestly, because I don't have a lot of time. But also, I'm going to be doing a Bonnie poll for the new character, Bonnie, and technically the cannon's called Clyde, I guess. So <laughs> I'll try and get that too. Let me just check what season it is. It, it's, it's been a long month or so. So we're in season 12, the stunt show. I honestly had no idea what it was called until just now. So I didn't bother doing the percentage check. I think uh, Ray Brawl Stars or something showed this website where you can check what your percentage of getting a certain thing is in Brawl Boxes. But right now I have 7 Mega Boxes and 41. I want to say medium boxes, but I know that's not what it's called. It's big boxes. So we'll just get right into the Bonnie pull. Because I know the, the anticipation is killing me, I know that for sure. And I really need the coins. Okay, this, this could honestly be it right here. Are we going to get it first try? Okay, that's good, but it's not good. Okay, I'm lagging for a second. Okay. This is our second mega box. Okay, this this could be it right here. Also I might have to change some settings later. Yeah, we're getting some weird lag. So we already got both of Janet's gadgets. Surprisingly, definitely like the what is happening with the audio. Definitely prefer the boom box or the other one. I honestly might have to turn down the quality of the game. I, I don't think my <laughs> laptop can render this. I'm definitely gonna have to go for Janet. I was hoping I could start by using the PowerPoints on Bonnie, but. I, I literally haven't opened like a lot of boxes since, which is why I didn't have enough coins to upgrade Janet any further. I'm gonna I'm gonna speed past the medium or big boxes. I really don't expect to get anything too special from the big boxes. If if I get Bunny out of the big box, I'll be surprised. I hope this isn't as as terrible of a recording in the in the actual product here. I'm hoping it's only the game that's lagging and not the actual software for the recording. It took so long to get to this point because I had to update the recording software, BlueStack software, and then they changed some settings around, which made it run even worse than it is now. I might just have to change some things, obviously, it's not running 100%, but at least I can do the video. Okay, still nothing. A lot of PowerPoints, though. Okay, okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Third third time's the charm, right? 
can we pull a Bonnie out of the... Actually, I guess it's technically the fourth Megaboss, but third third in the pass. There, there we go, guys. There we go. Bonnie and Clyde. We now successfully have every brawler in the game once again. Bonnie and her inanimate cannon collide are usually up to no goods. Who would have that? Who would have thought that this cute little would cause so much mayhem? She's she's a pretty darn strong brawler, admittedly. Obviously, I haven't played her yet, but playing against her, it's interesting. And well, I did use most of the power point sun, Janet already. Okay, now we can start going for Bonnie here. I saved quite a few club tokens specifically for when I got Bonnie. Specifically 500, which is a significant amount of power points. This is gonna take a while. I might consider leaving a pinned comment of when I actually do the season review, because, you know, this is honestly kind of boring now that we already got Sony and have so many boxes to open. Actually, now that I think about it, I might want to... Oh, I haven't even got this shop mega box, have I? No, I haven't. We'll, we'll talk about the worst bunch in the set here. Um, what I'm probably going to want to do, now that I have some actual coins, because Bonnie has a gadget, right? I mean, she, she has to have at least one when she comes into the game, if I'm not mistaken. I think I've seen them use it. It's like, it makes her move faster. Yeah, here it is. So Sugar Rush Clyde's movement and reload speed are increased by 30. Dang, both movement and reload? I, I guess you can't use this when you're in the Bonnie form, though. That's, that's interesting. The range of Bonnie's Star Launcher is increased by 36%. I'm guessing that's the Super. And then you have the Gears, of course. Oh, they have stats for both. That's that's interesting. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, I've completed every quest up until now to get all these boxes. Obviously, there's this one, but I can't quite do that yet. Okay, so I go to the club shop. I actually have more tokens than I thought. I'm gonna be saving 2,500 for when they decide to release another wacky character skin, just so I can get it immediately. I, I haven't even gotten to the review and this video is already gonna be longer than I wanted it to. I don't know why I'm deciding to do this on, on the actual video, but why not? What's more satisfying than that pre-Bonnie level up? I might show a little bit of the actual character gameplay, I don't know yet. I don't even know how many points I need right now. I want to try to get her to 9. Let's just upgrade from there and see how much I need. If I need more, I might consider just going for it, honestly. Because I'd like to get that gadget if I can. If I'm not mistaken, I think gadgets are maybe like as easy to get as probably rare brawlers, I feel like. I might be wrong, but that's how it feels when- Because I, I, you pull gadgets pretty easy in this game. 
Okay. Let's see. Yeah, why is it laggy? It's it's so annoying. Okay, we we got the gadget at least. Oh, should I question? Should I go for the next two levels? Let me let me just use the oh god, it's doing the weird audio glitch again. Let me just use up until two thousand five hundred on her and see how far we are. This, this is definitely the best purchase in terms of club tokens. I don't think I'm ever gonna spend club tokens on pretty much anything but power points, honestly. Maybe coins, but I don't know. I could do one more. That should probably be enough. It might not be actually. I'll, I'll probably just go to nine, honestly. If, even if it's more than I'd want to. Yeah, just just one more. Well, actually, five, twenty-five. You know, two more. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do it, why not? I don't even have the coins right now. I'm gonna have to open boxes until I can. I definitely want to start with the big boxes so I have a chance of getting the star power with the mega box. Did, did the audio just completely crash? I think it just crashed. Hang on. Yeah, it's just completely gone. <laughs> this clearly isn't loading right either. I, I mean, I, I, I guess I can restart it quick. It's just weird to have it be silent while I do the review, and this isn't an ASMR. Yeah, it wasn't loading great in the first place, but I'd, I'd rather have glitchy audio than no audio. It's just strange. Also, I really like the background theme they got going on for the worst bunch here, which again, we'll get to in a second. Okay, yeah, so we gotta get 1,250 coins. If only there were a faster way to open all this. chance of getting the starfire again the chances are so low but let's let's give it a try anyway oh my 
I guess. <laughs> okay, the question is, is it, what, what is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a gadget? A star power? Okay, let's, it's probably a gadget, isn't it? Ooh. Uh, that, that's an, in, that's a really interesting star power. I, I feel like it's more skilled to use the other one, though. The, the, t the shield teleport one would probably be great for Solo Showdown to escape and just teleport away with the teleport gadget. I, I think I might use it there, so that's pretty nice. I'll just open up all the rest of these quick. I mean, there's always the chance to get a star power out of these, but again, it's like e even worse than the other one. I'm gonna have double tokens coming out of my eyeballs after this. get me started on the hour. Actually, I guess it's usually two to three hours to get to the 550 trophy mark in Solo Showdown. You have to grind the Bonnie. It's definitely, like, when I grinded for Janet, I obviously didn't have the gadgets because you just saw me get them now. So, just starting with that is gonna make it so much easier to get up faster. Nice to finally have coins again. It's I think a really poor decision I probably made is I spent I, I had like 20 silver skins or some nonsense. Th those coins would be so much more useful for upgrades right about now. So I must say the silver skins are pretty impressive to look at. Okay, finally. Now I'm gonna do a very quick overview of the season because I already wasted way too much time <laughs> with just opening boxes. Um, so usually I'd say like get the season. In this case, I'm very, very much on the side of saying get the brawl pass because they really improve the quality of what you're getting here with more. I, I can't say exclusive technically because of what. Like the whole thing that went down, like the characters and the skins are not exclusive anymore up to a certain point but they haven't even, I don't think they've mentioned whether or not the sprays are exclusive but I think the well, you know, they're exclusive to the time at the very least and another thing they added that's not so obvious is in the quest tab you can get reroll quests now I already used all mine but it, it helps a lot when you really hate the pass the ball <laughs> quest or the play with friends quest. I may never have to play with friends again. So you get three of these if you have the brawl pass and one if you don't. So it's obviously a lot more helpful if you hate certain quests to have the brawl pass. So in terms of that I'd say it's definitely a lot more worth it now than it was last season. And in terms of what's actually been going on there's this challenge I forget what it was specifically. It's it's the mode where you have where you pick three brawlers and you have them and you fight a other player with three brawlers that they chose. I forget I think it's called Duel. They had a challenge for that and that was pretty neat. I didn't do too well, but I also didn't try very hard. <laughs> and they, they're releasing the free rewards like they did last year. It's only in four days though, and you have to claim them each day specifically. So if you're just seeing this now, make sure to log on each day. And as you can tell from the background, they finally released the worst bunch skin set, and they're all pretty darn cool. 
So I didn't see how much this one costs because I didn't have the character before, but it's the same as Overlord Byron, which is, I think, the coolest in most people's opinion. And then you got Galaxy Storm Lola on the cheaper side here. I don't, I don't see too many people using this one or this one. There's there's quite a few Empress Bonnies out there, though. I, I don't think I'll be picking up any of these, honestly, but they're pretty decent skins. You, you can look at them in the shop if you want. I, I don't think I have too much time to review them, especially since this is a season review, not a skin review. Um, let me pull up Power League quick. Oh, it already is. Of course it is. So we have Crash Test Daryl, which is a very cool skin you can get for free without even having to purchase the season, which is very nice. Though it does take quite a bit of grinding and it's actually good <laughs> gameplay skills to get there. And Janet is a very fun character to use. Oh my god. It, it crashed. And restarted? <laughs> Apparently. Uh, Anyway, as I was saying, Janet is a very fun character to use. I literally had a match where we won because Janet literally got all the gems on the opponent's side and flew back, which is the dankest thing ever. I think I'll just uh, I'll finish this really quick. I'll just I'll just leave it right there. So I would definitely say that you should get the pass now more than ever and if you if you want to look at the brawlers this season I, I don't have a lot of time now but you can literally just download the game I don't say a lot but I leave the link in the description from like the Google Play Store if you're on iPhone I'm sure you can find it yourself by just looking it up the title is right on the screen right now <laughs> and it's a really fun game they have a lot of different modes my favorite is Solo Showdown, obviously. That's, if you look at my stats, you'll see that for sure. But that's about it. I, I like this season a lot. It's a lot of cool skins they got. Like you can see here, like the Pyro Spike, the um, Cowboy... Uh, what's her name? Meg, if I if I'm remembering that correctly. So, yeah, a lot of cool skins. A nice theme... I didn't even talk about Biker Carl, it's a pretty neat skin too. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, especially <laughs> through all the lag, it, it was really annoying. And if you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content, whether it be gaming or other weird stuff that I make. I plan to release another video that I worked on not, like, not too long ago, literally like a day or two ago, for a project, which was fairly interesting. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.